Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Math 30-3, Chapter 1, Lesson 1, Part 2, More Slope Review. Now, recall that any point in the graph can be written as x comma y, and note x is always written first, then the y value. Okay? Now, is there an easy way of calculating the slope between two points? Calculating? Yes. Matter of fact, it is. So if I give you two points like this, 1 and 5, and 7 and 7, and once again, it's always the x value first. If we were to calculate slope normally, regularly, this would be a rise of t units and a run of 6 units. Now, how did I do that? Well, I went, okay, going to use my rise. So I run from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six rise and then up two. So the slope would be so the rise of two and the rise of six. So that's where the two and six came from. So the slope would be two over six or one over three. Okay? Or zero point three 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 three, depending on what Mr. Calculator reads tells us. But we could always use the formula, and note a new formula. Snapshot, one of the Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And once again, that formula is right down here in the formula sheet. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I don't want you to memorize it. You learned it in math 30, so 20 3, and you're just using it again. And hopefully you remember it. If not, that's why we're here. So, I want you to know, traditionally, the left point on the graph is x1 and y1, and the point on the right is x2, y2. So this, x1, y1, this would be x2, y2. And I should put them, come in and put them in the graph to show the coordinates. 1, 5, and 7, 7. Okay? Now, if I give you, please, if I give you the graph like this, you can just count the rise and the run and figure that out. You don't need the point. If I just give you the point like this, you don't want to draw the graph, you want to plug the numbers into the equation because that's a quicker way to do it. So what happens if we put our points into a formula? Well, we get this. Now, note here, y2 is 7, y1 is 5, x2 is 7, y1 is 1. So 7 minus 5 is 2. 7 minus 1 is 6. So we're getting 2 over 6. Now, if you want to, that should be 1 third of 0.3333. 0 0.3333. 0 .3333. So that's one way. So that's the equation I need to be able to fo follow, finding the numbers and solve. All right, not bad with a little practice. Be careful with different ways to write out the answer. So here, determine the slope of the line that passes through the points four minus five and minus one comma eight. So four comma four minus five and one comma eight minus one comma eight. Okay, I'm getting old. Anyway, so this equation is slope y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1. So, big question is which is x1 and which is x2? I'm going to call this one x1, y1, and the second point x2, y2. Does it matter? Oh, no, I can, call my, I can call this x1, y1 if I want. I should get the, I will get the same answer. I just try to be consistent. Now, y2 is 8 minus 5 minus 1 minus 4. So this one's a little sneaky. That's why I'm doing it with you. Minus minus 5 plus 5. Minus 1 minus 4 is minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. 
Now, do I miss a calculator? That should be minus 2.6. I'm happy with either answer. Now, by now you guys should have this and remember it. Now we got three more questions here, A, B, and C. What I want you to do is pause the recording, do the questions, then come back and check your answers. Or better yet, do A, come back and check your answer for A, do B, come back and check your answer for B, and then come back and check your answer for C, okay? So pause the recording, come back and we'll check your answers, all right? Okay, for the first one, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's 1 minus 9, 1 minus 8. I got minus 8 over minus 7. Now, you can leave it like that and it's fine, but really, negative divided by negative for minus 9 cancel out. It becomes 8 over 7 or 1.14 or something like that. Any of those answers I'm happy with, as long as you put these numbers in the equation correctly. Now, pause recording, let's do B. Come back and check your answers. Okay, for the second one, x1 is minus 8, y1 is 5, x2 is minus 1, and y2 is minus 1. So plug the numbers in, minus 1 over minus, sorry, minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6, x2 minus x1 is minus 1 minus minus 8, or minus 1 plus 8, I got minus 6 over 7, minus 1 over 6, something like that. Either answer is perfectly correct, I'm happy with either one. Just be careful if you get a multiple choice question on the test. And the final one. So let's pause the recording, do it, and check. Okay. So y2 minus slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5. Ah, minus 5 minus 12 is minus 17. So I get minus 5 over minus 17. Okay. However, tradition of two minus signs cancel out. I get 517, so 0.29. I'll accept all of those answers because technically they're all correct. All right. Any questions about this? Oh, see me in class or shoot me an email. If you have any trouble, watch the video again. Otherwise, go do the class, please. All right. Thank you. Good luck.